Hello and welcome to another quick edit video, this time with hopefully the last winter image of this winter season. This shot is actually already pretty good, so there won't be much going on. Still, the change will be quite dramatic, so let's take a look at the editing process. First off, of course, the raw adjustments will be done in the camera raw editor and I'm heading to the optics tab first to activate those two settings. Next, let's change the profile to Adobe Standard. This will just lessen the contrast a little bit by brightening up the darkest parts. Right away, let's adjust the white balance. I think we can make it a little warmer. So let's increase the temperature. I do want to have stronger blue tones in the sky, but I will be changing that using local adjustments. So let's do that later. Right away I want to add some contrast. And I also want to boost the whites. Okay, this looks pretty good. We don't have any overexposure or any underexposure. Then let's increase the vibrance a bit. Let's also drop the saturation. That looks nice for now. Let's check out the local adjustments. I want to start with the gradiated filters and as I said before, I want to work on the sky. First off, let me use the upper gradient filter to bring down the exposure. Okay, and I'm doing the same thing for the bigger one right below it. Let's drop the exposure. And now you see the colors start to look a little weird in the sky. But that's not a big deal, let's simply drop the temperature. We can drop it quite a bit. That looks really nice. Now I want to also make this area a little softer, so let's drop the texture and the clarity all together. Okay, now that's it for the gradiated filters. I also have applied one radial filter just for the center part. And I think the dark areas are a little too dark actually, so let's bring up the shadows. That looks much better. At this point we are already finished with the local adjustments. And actually I don't think I want to do any color grading in the camera raw editor. So let's jump straight to the sharpening. And then we can finish it in Photoshop. All right, I'm not sure what I want to change. I think I want to get rid of those things in the background right there. Therefore, I'm just using the spot healing brush. And let's just paint over them. All right, let's play around with a few adjustment layers. First off, I want to add the color balance adjustment layer. With this one, you can target the shadows, the midtones, and the highlights, as you can see. So it's kind of like split toning. In this case, I want to target the highlights. And since I want them to be a little warmer, I'm going to use this slider down here and drag it to the left, more into the yellow range. Just a bit. I'm not sure if you can notice this in the video, but it does make a difference. Also, I think I want to apply a gradient map adjustment layer. First off, let me switch the blending mode of this one to soft light. And let's also drop the opacity to 30%. Now, with this gradient map adjustment layer, I can color grade the image just like I can with the split toning but I will also be adding some contrast with the help of this gradient map. So let's click on this gradient. And for the shadows, I will be going with a cold color tone. Uh, let's see, can pick a color from the image, make it a little dark and a little more saturated. And for the highlights, of course, I want to go with something in the yellow range. That looks pretty good. Okay, let's see. That's a big difference. I think I want to mask out the center part of the image because there's a bit too much contrast going on. So I'm just using this layer mask here and 
with the black brush I'm carefully painting over the center especially over the darkest parts right there all right let's merge everything then I guess I'm checking the Nick collection as well and here the first filter I want to apply is the polarization effect this one will help me a lot with the sky and overall colors let's just boost the strength we can also rotate a bit that looks really really good let's see if i want to add another filter i could try the glimmer glow effect actually let's not apply this effect otherwise it would be too much i'm just going with the polarization effect also on this one i want to create a negative control point over the center again so that just means the center won't be affected by the polarization effect but the rest of the image will be affected oh this should be good all right let's hit okay cool and that's it for editing this winter landscape with photoshop I hope this was interesting and helpful. If you have any questions, as always, feel free to ask in the comments and thank you so much for watching this video.